OK, well, I guess, Venus, footwork is a very key part of the modern game, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, it really, footwork is a huge part of the game. If you aren't in position, if you don't position yourself correctly, you're either not going to make the shot that you want, get yourself in trouble, or you're going to miss. So you do have to learn the footwork, and you have to learn when you miss a shot, why you missed that shot, and a lot of time it can be your feet, so it's something you're always focusing on. Okay, well the first question uh, in this section comes from Robin in Denver who asks, what types of off-court exercises can you do to improve your footwork? So what sort of things do you do? I'm not a huge proponent of off-court exercises because I think you can do all kinds of things all day off the court, but if you're not doing it on the court with the ball, I don't think it works as well. I, and I see a lot of people training off the court, but I, th I think you need to kind of do it with the ball so that way you can adjust yourself to where the ball is and maybe you can do some motions without the ball but I, I think I believe in doing that with the ball. Okay this question uh, might take us up to the net a little bit here and do okay. your, your favorite subject of volleys. <laughs> Dennis volleys. in Manhasset asks I've heard that you should step in with your left foot on a forehand volley if there's time to do so. Today's professionals tend not to have time and coaches are teaching us non-pros to step in with the right. What are your thoughts on that. Stepping in with the right foot? Yeah. It's, that's, that's advanced. It's, I was going to say. I would probably recommend stepping in with the left. Okay. Um, if you find yourself in a situation you have to improvise, it's, it's still good to be moving forward and step in with the right. Um, I still recommend stepping in with the left and then also maybe kind of recovering at the same time. So if you're stepping in this way, you could also kind of try to step in that way if you need to recover for some reason. To the centre of the court. Yes. Let's, let's get you up to the net and you can talk us through, because I'm sure a lot of people around the world today tuning in and obviously our audience here today would love to hear your technique on volleys and uh, a little bit about that footwork skills that you've just been talking us through. Yes, the volley is a shot that takes a lot of practice kind of how to develop those hands and get your, your hand in the right position. So the hand really should be solid as a rock. And if you can see my wrist is, uh, what's a good word for this? <laughs> It's firm. <laughs> firm. Thank you. My <laughs> wrist is very firm in the position that it should be in. It's like so. So you don't want it like this or like that or catching it behind you. The wrist is always like that. And you can see that I'm not moving my racket back and forth like this when I'm volleying. It stays firm and you use your body to go forward. So a lot of the practice that you do is constantly getting that wrist firm and in that position. And um, this racket face should lead on your volley. So it really goes straight forward like so. If you're gonna volley old school, then you know it's like, you know, like so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, not many people do that anymore, the old school volley. So the new school is no, really we, we prefer the new school one, I, I new think. School. But David, why don't you show uh, or feed Venus a couple of high balls and, and you can talk us through the difference between right. trying to hit a high volley and a low one. Well, if I'm hitting a high volley personally, then I'm going to be swinging at it because I like to swing. But <laughs> really on a high volley, you want to be careful not to extend that arm because that's when you lose control. You really have to use your feet to get to the ball and um, keep this elbow closer to you. Okay. So the first instinct is to do this, but really you keep your elbow close and you get your feet to the ball. So that's um, a pointer you want to keep on that high volley. OK, let's just uh, have a look at the low volley as well, because those are always the really tricky ones, yes. aren't they? So what, what tips can you give us on the low volley? On the low volley, you really want to use your legs. And I improvise a little bit because I'm, my legs are so long yep. that it's very hard to get down. And I still do, but you want to really open that racket face when you get down low and really lead with this. You're going to have to open your racket face even more because you're hitting up at the net in a short amount of space.